Hello. In this video, we solve a question involving direct proportion, which was sent by a student. This is question number 10 of exercise 1b. The question reads, if y is directly proportional to x square and the difference in the values of y when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 is 32, find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2. So much information in just three lines. So let's rewrite the question to separate the information that is given to us. So the first information has been written with red. It is if y is directly proportional to x square. So y is directly proportional to x square. Second information is and the difference in the values of y is 32. Third information, when do we have to take the difference? When x is equal to 1. And fourth information is x is equal to 3. And finally, we have to find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2. So let's start with the portion which is written with red. If y is directly proportional to x square, can be written mathematically like this. And to change proportionality into equality, we introduce a constant k. So y is directly proportional to x square can be written as y is equal to kx square where k is constant of proportionality. Our main aim is to find the value of k. Now let's move to the second information which is written with black. And the difference in the values of y is 32. So we can't find the difference unless we have the values. So let's move to the third information which is in purple. When x is equal to 1. So let's put x is equal to 1 in the equation y is equal to kx square. So when x is equal to 1, we replace x with 1 and we get y is equal to k times 1 square. 1 square is equal to 1. So this simplifies to y is equal to k. So the value of y when x is equal to 1 is k. Now we have to find the value of y when x is 3 written with green. So when x is 3, we substitute 3 in place of x and we get y is equal to k into 3 squared. And 3 squared is 9. So y is equal to 9k is the value when x is equal to 3. Now we have got the values of y. So let's move back to the portion which was written with black. The difference in the values of y is 32. Difference means we have to subtract. When we subtract, we put the bigger number first. So out of k and 9k, since 9k is the larger quantity, we will write 9k first followed by k. Or in other words, we will subtract k from 9k. We get 9k minus k is equal to 32. So 9k minus k, which basically means 9k minus 1k is equal to 8k. So 8k is equal to 32. Dividing 8 on both sides, k is equal to 32 by 8, which simplifies to 4. So we have found the value of the constant k. Now we are going to put this value of constant here in this equation. So our equation becomes y is equal to 4x squared. Now the last part of the question, we have to find the value of y when x is equal to minus 2. So in place of x, we are going to put minus 2. So we get y is equal to 4 times minus 2 squared. And we know that minus 2 squared is equal to positive 4. So y is equal to 4 times 4 which simplifies to 16. So the value of y when x is equal to minus 2 when y is directly proportional to x squared is 16. So I hope this question is now clear. If you have any question which you want me to solve, you can post the question on our Facebook page whose link has been provided in the description below. Stay tuned for upcoming videos.